understanding of how uh, they play? Yeah, no, they've been, uh, from a hero of Pana, they've been improving really fast. Um, it's just, you know, they, they'll be like playing well in the either SD or they'll, you know, butt up more than they can chew. But I want to see, like, you know, I may have coached them in this match because I fought Ty, Ty Lodo, like, you know, before. But a big thing about fighting Kirby is that character, once he's in his bubble, can really do, like, a lot of, like, a lot of work. But just trying to, like, you know, Approach you is what he really like. He really right. falters in. A lot of characters in this game kind of have Luigiism, right? You got Kazu, yeah. you got Kirby, you've got Luigi himself. That will mess you up if they get your hands on you. But against a character like Mithra, that's going to be extremely hard to do. And Diva's already showing that off right now. Yeah, I I really like how he's using the up B like to to like so he'll, he'll pressure the ground and then wait for the jump and then up B like just on reaction like that. It's a very nice safe punish, but it just keeps what he needs is keeping Kirby in the corner because Kirby has no option in the corner. It covers so much, but yeah. we're gonna see what we're gonna see a lot of is those down air attempts. Mm -hmm. Mithra not having the most like vertically covering recovery. Yeah. So if one of those little toes clips him for even a second, it's over. Oh, it, 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 it's always the most frustrating thing. Like I, I've seen like, uh, the, we have a local Kirby G-Man who's like won a lot of, wow, what a lob Ooh. and the punish. Okay, are you just shutting me up? I need to focus on this There's game. There's the jump. Is he gonna make it back into, he is gonna get Magnus yeah. somehow. All right. Big thing right, right now is like playing around that mid platform and just watching around shield. Cause this is a part where like, you know, uh, Tylo don't know that there's no, like, you know, ki uh, kill throws, but, you know, um, Pyro has a lot of raw damage, so he's going to want to look out for those, you know, shield grabs. Position in this matchup is going to be everything for Kirby. If he's, like, put off stage or even, ooh, going to be, not be able to space that nair properly, and Tylo is going to get an up smash for it. And so, you know, like, in, in terms of being down, this is probably, like, you know, not the worst spot to be, because, you know, you are still Pyro, so, like, just one good, uh, you know, air-to-air -air call out is huge, but he's just not, like, He's keeping him in the corner, but he's not killing him in the corner. And that's, that's what's gonna hurt him. The problem is when you have a deficit against Kirby like that, you have to approach him at some point. Like players want to be on the same stock. They want to start yeah. putting in work on the same stock and not having like be chipped away and mm -hmm. like lose that lead over time. So they're gonna want to run at Kirby, and that's the yep. least. That's the last thing you want to do. In this that was a great confirm. But I, I feel like he could have pushed a little bit more because Kirby like can't get, uh, can't teleport to the ground, so he can push under that platform and cut off more space. Right. If you jump under, if he were to jump under it and just like kept sharking, yeah. because Kirby is really bad at landing. Floaty character, not not super fast, the hitting below. Mm -hmm. It's just gonna be putting yourself in a good position to get these confirms and like. Yeah. He's getting he's getting good damage, but he's not like keeping the advantage. You're not like seeing the keep Mithra advantage. But if he can keep himself, if he can keep Tyloto on ledge, which he breaks back, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Still though, he's, he's he is starting to you know finally chip him down. Like this, I think this is the most important stock of, of the of the set because it's gonna you know dictate a lot of the pace. Because if you can take it now, then you can uh, kind of run away, get some chip damage. Like as you've been saying, that it's kind of huge that people like to be playing on the same stock, as well as like. Uh, it will give him confidence to play for the rest of the set, and like it's like okay, I, I, you know my, my ideas are working. The thing with the thing I'm seeing from Diva is when he switches to Pyra, he's not playing like Mithra anymore. He's not playing the positional sortie. He's going yeah. for those kills. That's gonna Kirby up throw killed at yeah. 150 with a little bit of rage on PS2. I don't doubt it, but mm -hmm. geez. yeah, she, she's only Mario weight. Like they're, I think they're both like the same amount of units. And now we're gonna see like how they adapt to be on the, being on the lower stock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's going for these hard call for like you know for his matches, which not only is he not getting the spacing he needs to make that actually threatening, but oh, oh all right, the fade back actually catches the, yeah. the Tyloto trying to drift in, and he really needed that because like that last stock was so rough for him because he was down 72 percent before he finally like you know really had a uh, the match in his favor. Something I like from Tyloto that not a lot of Kirby's abuse is if you're in his range, just if you have tilt stick on, just rotate that thing in a circle. Oh, You'll yeah. probably get a hit. <laughs> his, his forward tilt and down tilt are like so disgusting on shield. And he, for like the character's weird on parry because like you think his nair is like really you know punishable on parry, nope. and then he just still hits you. It's like what is going on? Going oh for that my hard god! Call out. Not gonna get it because Mithra is too fast and has too yeah. big of a sword. He, he was Debo was doing really well, but like. That was a phenomenal switch. He just didn't get that last thing of like if he shield grab there, that would have made it disgu a disgusting play. He caught the jump and now he's off stage. That yeah, down air through ledge. Oh. Not gonna go for it. I think he's trying to catch an earlier recovery yeah. with up B because that does last a long wow. time, but gonna okay, catch the just... DI. Unfortunate. And Tyler is gonna take yeah. game one, and that's gonna be huge. That, that was that was rough to see because like he had advantage and then just slightly misspaced and didn't immediately put a shield up because like uh, Kirby's throws aren't you know aren't so immediately punishing like. We saw it took it to 150 with like you know, 160 after hit with rage for the up throw to kill. Well, what so we you didn't can see a lot of though is we didn't see a lot of 
positional throws from yeah. Tyloto because like you're not gonna be getting too many grabs in this matchup, but if you're gonna get thrown off stage by Kirby yeah. and as Mithra or Pyra, it's gonna be mm -hmm. awful. So I don't like I don't disagree with the option of like being scared of shielding at some certain yeah. areas. But what we need to see more from D.Va is less hard callouts because mm -hmm. he's losing positioning. Yeah. It's not that he's losing advantage, he's losing positioning. And against Kirby, you need to be on position on yeah. block at all times. Because if you have the position lock, he's not going to be able to do anything. He's Kirby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The bubble theorem. Like, that's actually a very astute point that I, I didn't touch upon. Oh. As, as you're saying, like it's it's it is very scary to be on there. Like, actually, it's something I want to touch upon is that like, um, Vivi needs to track Tyler's jumps better off off ledge and just like really know when like okay he has to up B at this range in order to insta snap or he's gonna like float up. Um, and he's not like quite pressuring Tyler to kind of recover there the way that he I wants. I love that. that. He fell through hit. the platform to pressure a jump and he just covers everything with an up tilt. Yeah, we were talking about that. Like, what you can do as sorties is that when you pressure on shield, you do a slight walk so you can fall through platform easier and continue your pressure. Right, because I think platforms are weird to where if you get hit, you have to move a little bit before yeah. you can drop through platforms. As you said, like, Ugh, like those even just down smash. Just cause really it, hurting him. That's the thing, because down smash covers both sides. So like, even if you get the weak hit, damage it, it damage is damage. The problem is he just didn't need to go for that. Yeah, true. It's myth, it's myth, myth or ledge trapping. You're going to get damage mm -hmm. even a kill by accident. Yeah. If you're like, if you're normal ledge trapping. Oh, nice force step, but where is he going? I think he was trying to DI away, yeah. just like, just like shield and then hit, dash yeah. away to create the space, so it's a little bit important. Okay. I nice like reverse that. up B, that was smart. All right, he does that. Um, quick tip about Kirby up B, spot dodge it. Uh, no, you can literally just, yeah. it. it's got chromism, like it doesn't have a hitbox at the top. You can mm -hmm. literally just poke it. Yeah, it, well, it, that way the landing hit doesn't hit your shield, and you get more frame advantage. That's another big Don't thing. Don't let him land. It, true, yeah. But Kirby's are gonna try to up B because they like at least G-Man, the one I play, uses it as like a pseudo zoning tool. It's like weird. I mean, oh, Kirby's, nice! Like it's it's hard to have an established Kirby playstyle because yeah. the character is so not in the meta that like mm -hmm. there's a lot of like you know learning you have to do and very specific playstyle like you have to kind of abuse Kirby in. I'm a really I'm a really big fan of that up B because he was trying to catch an early side B for, uh, coming out from Mithra. Yeah. Good job on the wait. He's no, gonna get he has, the he has, side oh. B. He's gonna get the nair out of it. If he waited, he could have drifted in. Because um from that spot, like it's kind of weird awkward for Tyloto to sneak in a back air. Right, but it's also super awkward for Mithra to try to recover yeah. because like trying to recover against Ty like against Kirby with all those fast like buttons, it's hard. Mm -hmm. Right. Gets the other. Oh, Ooh. he didn't wait it out. Yeah, because he hit it in the air, so it doesn't. It sent higher. It wasn't the ground version that sent a lot lower. Nice lock. Oh, actually, I'm pushing off stage. Yeah. That's unfortunate. You can also SDI your lock to uh, go farther. Like uh, SDI jab locks are actually like, huge in certain matchups because, um, like for Almar, uh, you don't get the sour spot that match Almar wants. I don't know about all that. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> nah, there, there's like. There's a lot of things that, like, just little minor things. Like, people, like, you know, oh, there's no death in this game, but, like, you got to kind of squeeze it out. You know, use use the limits of the game and really make make something with it. Yeah, Speaking the of last limits of the hit. game, that limit of that recovery is going to just hold him in place, and mm -hmm. Tyloto's going to put the feed on him and take that set. Yeah. Diva was doing pretty good game one, but it's just, like, just, you know, not being able to really close out and get that myth or damage, like you've been saying really just you know took its toll and he just wasn't patient that was the yeah. biggest thing mm -hmm. like look at that look at that up yeah i mean you're like you'll, you'll yeah. probably tr you'll cover some options but you're only recover you're only covering some options instead of all mm -hmm. of them yeah joel not even being able to pronounce his own his own ride <laughs> but what i really like from tyloto because like i i I feel like 